Hi, this is Justice and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the UI, how to customize the UI, save and reload the UI. All right, so if you're familiar with different digital art programs, you're gonna be familiar with how to move these up and down. So if you put your pointer or the pen right in between these different panels, you can pull them up and down and adjust those in a pretty standard way. Now, if you want to move these panels somewhere, you can put your cursor directly over the name of the panel and move it around and Rebel will open up a spot for you to put that panel into. There we go. And just drop that right in there and bring it back. Inside of preferences, you have an option for adjusting the scaling of the interface, as well as allowing different panels to dock on the top or the bottom of the canvas. So I have that turned on. I'm going to go ahead and show you quickly what that looks like. So if I want to take, uh, let's say brushes right over here, and we're going to bring them up, we can drop them right there and have them available to us on the top or on the bottom of the canvas. Now, I don't want to do that. Let's say that I have adjusted the UI exactly the way I like. I, I want to close this panel. I want to close this one. I'm going to move this one out here into the middle and let's see, let's put layers uh, right here in the middle as well. And we're going to drag colors and I, this is my favorite layout. This is how I like to work all the time. Now I'm going to go ahead and click windows and I'm going to export my layout and save it. And then I can load that anytime I want by choosing import. Let's go ahead and import the default layout. And we're going to change something here. If I click on lock panels, what that's going to do is that is going to keep everything here on the sides. If I try and pull one of the panels off and into the middle of the canvas, it's not going to allow me to do anything besides resize. Right, let's go ahead and turn that off. Now, all of these panels, if you want to hide them, you can click on tab on the keyboard, or you can choose window, show or hide panels, and that'll give you the entire canvas to work with. Uh, that's what I like. That's my favorite mode. So you wanna keep in mind that all the different panels have specific menus relevant to that panel in the context menu. So here, I'm gonna click here, tools. There's only one option and that's close. Pencil, there's a lot of different options. Pencil brushes. There's even more options, and all of these are different depending on which panel you're opening. Like most drawing programs, we have a file menu up here at the top. Edit with our preferences and keyboard shortcuts. Layers, filter, view, window, community, and help. If you have any questions about Rebel, you can find answers in the help menu, and you can access the tutorials like this one on the YouTube page by clicking on video tutorials button. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.